So I'm peeling the cucumber. And I'm going to show you an easy way to seed it. There's actually two ways. One way, and the way I like to do it, is I cut it in half, and I have this great little tool called a corer, which is also used for coring apples or other things with a core. And I just stick it in, and the seed packet all comes out. We're not using the seeds just because a lot of people don't like the taste of cucumber seeds. Also, I have learned that people that get gassy from cucumbers, it's the seeds that do it. I just think it looks really cute when you have it like this. Actually, you can stuff this with things too. It's really fun. But if you don't have a corer, another way to seed a cucumber is to simply cut it in half. Is to simply cut it in half, take a spoon, and run the spoon along the inside and get the seeds out. I think this is a little more difficult, but if you don't have a core, that's how they did it in the old days. Now, I like whenever I'm making something, I like the pieces to be uniform so that in the mouth you don't get one huge chunk of cucumber, one small cub, uh, piece of cucumber. So I use a, a tool called a mandolin, very readily available. They're very, very sharp, so be careful to always use the safety blade. Starting out, you actually don't have to. But over the bowl that I'm working at, when I get close to the bottom, though, always, always use the safety blade because that would, mandolins are very sharp and that would be a nasty cut. I'm using a trifle bowl here just because I think it's kind of fun to sometimes mix and match and use a dessert bowl for a salad, coordinate things that way. Now I've got all this fragrant fresh mint that I just chopped in the food processor. And again, if you don't have a food processor, you can do everything by hand. I know this is a lot of mint, but it's really, really good in this salad. And this salad, if you're a raw foodist, you could make this 100% raw too, because um, pretty much all the ingredients are raw. We're going to use some peanuts, but you can even get raw peanuts these days. So we're going to make the dressing. And it's really, really easy. 